There goes the truck. There goes the truck. Everybody likes big rigs, but if you ever wondered what it would be like to be a real truck driver, well, get set to learn, because there goes a truck. Hi, everybody. I'm truck driver Dave. And I'm truck driver Becky, but we're not real truck drivers. No, but the real truck drivers have agreed to let us pretend for the day so that we can all learn about big trucks and what they do. Like this one, so come along for the ride. Trucks come in all shapes and sizes. This is what you might call a little baby truck. And this is a medium truck. Now, right over here is a much bigger truck. In fact, this is a very big truck. This is the Pinsky Truck Leasing Company in Anaheim, California, not far from Disneyland. And as you can see, they have trucks of all different sizes and shapes. Now, each truck is designed to do a specific job. So let's take a look around, see how they work and what they do. Come on. Now, this is the baby truck, as we call it. It's smaller, and it's used for making deliveries around town and carrying smaller loads. Oh, hi, Dave. What are you doing in there? Uh -huh. Just taking a little break. You're always taking a little break. Well, I need my rest. Come over here. I want to show you something. <laughs> See this? Yeah. This is called a lift gate. Now, sometimes when you're moving items, they're too heavy to lift by yourself, so you need this because after all, you can't lift a refrigerator by yourself. You know, yourself. I've seen these before, and they're kind of like transformers. They turn into things. You fold this out, watch your toes, and then you put the refrigerator or whatever right, you're now lifting on Right, this can carry here. up to 2,500 pounds. I think it'll carry me. I don't uh -huh. weigh nearly that much. Now, you got to be careful because you could hurt your fingers if you got them stuck in there. Take a look at this. This is the inside of the medium-sized truck. As you can see, there's lots of room in here. And if you look up, you can see that while you can't see through the ceiling, it does let the light in. Every truck driver needs to know how to check out his or her engine. But first, you've got to find the engine. As you can tell, the hood on this truck is much different than a car. You have to pull it down which takes a little bit of extra strength. Good way to build up your muscles. Wow, look at the size of this engine. It's Oof. about the size of five regular car engines. And it also takes diesel fuel rather than regular fuel that a car takes because it needs more power and it's more efficient. In many ways, it's just like the car you have at home, only bigger. This is the radiator. It keeps the engine cool. These are the air hoses and exhaust hoses. And just like a car, it also needs oil. Only in this case, almost half a bathtub full of oil. Now, the engine works pretty much the same way your engine at home works. The fuel goes into the engine, it explodes, driving the pistons up and down, boom, 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 boom. That power turns a shaft that goes into the gearbox, which is right down there. That gears it down so it provides lots of power, and it goes back there. That's right. The drive shaft forces the power back here to the wheels. You know, trucks are used to haul just about everything that you and I use in our daily lives. Now, you take a look at this big truck. It looks like it's a, a tanker that might be used to haul gasoline or diesel fuel or something like that. But you know what they haul in this truck? They haul sugar. It's liquefied sugar. Comes right out of this tube here. And you know where it goes? It goes right into the pop that you drink. Trucks today are really high tech. See this computer keyboard here? This is a computer satellite location system. And it'll talk to headquarters and they can send you messages on it. And also, they can keep track of exactly where the valuable load that you're hauling is at all times. The brains for the computer are located down here in this little box here. And if you look close, you'll see a little dish up there. That little dish is what talks to the satellite. Look at this great rig they've given us to drive. This is an 18-wheeler, and it will deliver almost everything from the food we eat to the furniture in our homes. Now you got to see the inside of this baby. It looks like the, the control panel of the space shuttle almost. And it even has a sleeping compartment. Now, the sleeping compartment is there so that trucker teams like Becky and I can switch off. One can sleep while the other one drives. That saves time along the highway. And speaking of time, we need to get going so we can load our truck. That's right. we got to pick up our load, so come on along.
wonder what's in these I don't know boxes. What to Can you see in there? I can't see anything. I can't either. Uh, hmm. Truck driver Dave, truck driver yes. Becky. I need you to load this up, get it at this address by noon Friday. It's very important. Noon on Friday, that's not very much time. If you can't yeah. do it, you'll lose your jobs. Oh, sir, you can we'll depend on us. We'll get it done. Uh-huh. Let's get loaded. Come on, hurry. <laughs> Now, once the truck is loaded and we're ready to go, we have to lift the support legs like this. Now, it's time for the safety check. Probably one of the most important safety checks to make is to check the lines between the tractor, which is what we call the truck portion, and the trailer, which is this portion. These lines are real important because this one in the middle carries the electrical current that controls the lights and things on the back of the truck. This is the main brake line, and then this is the emergency brake line. You have to make sure those are very secure. Everything seems okay, so I think if you're ready, Becky, we're ready to go. Yep, tires check out. Let's go. So the road's all clear up ahead. All right, thank you, good buddy. This is Trucker Dave and Trucker Becky. 10-4, uh, catch you on the flip-flop. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> yeah, the CB's the trucker's best friend. That's how we keep in touch with uh, with other truck drivers and uh, find out about emergency weather situations and things like that up ahead. Now, aren't you curious about what we're carrying in this load? What we're carrying in the load? Yes. It doesn't matter what we're carrying. Our job is to get it there on time well, that's true. and to get it there that's safely. True. Now, kids, whenever you see a big truck like this, you really need to be aware if you're on a bicycle, for example, because there are several blind spots on the truck, the front and the back especially. Be very <laughs> careful if you're on big trucks. No right. kidding. And if you're driving with your parents, make sure they stay proper distance away. Now, according to my calculations, we are starting here, of course, and we need to be going north. North. Right. All right. <laughs> what do you say we sing a trucker song? Okay. Uh... 18 wheels on my wagon. 18 wheels on my wagon. I keep rolling along. I keep rolling along. Smoky Bear is Smoky after Bear me. Is the flaming me. road is up ahead. Flaming and I'm singing a happy song. Happy song. I'm singing yippity 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 yappity hoppity ha. You know, I love this trucking, Becky. We oh. see so much great country Gosh, and meet Dave. so many neat people. Oh, no, guys, <laughs> slow down. We're, we're going the wrong direction. We've got to turn around. we got to go. Uh, no, 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 no. What? What, oh, no. What, what are you talking oh, about? No, I had the, I had the map. What are you talking about? Upside the wrong down. direction. I had the, I had the map. Uh, I the, the map, map upside down. Yes, I thought we were going north, but we were going south, and we, oh, my gosh, Dave, we're about 100 Becky? miles out of the way. Becky, which way is north? What do you mean, which way is north? It's up. Up. Everybody knows that North is up. I, listen, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, after all, what we did you do? We were on schedule. We were on schedule. Now, how far off the, okay. the main highway? All over? right, big trucker. Dave, what about the time you were in the aerial bucket truck? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh. As if this is oh, a big deal. You had to bring that well, up, huh? Well, Fine. you're giving me a hard huh. time about this. I know. This is called an aerial bucket truck, and it's used to lift two workers high in the air to work on things like telephone poles or changing out street lights. This is Saul, who operates the truck. Hey, Saul, let's give it a try. This big arm goes high in the air so the workers can reach tall things like street lights. This is also used to lift heavy things, sort of like a big crane. And it looks like Dave has a low ready to go. Hey, Dave, you're all hooked up down there? You ready? Okay, I think that's hooked up pretty good. Okay, guys, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and lift it up. 
Go ahead and lift. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is you're not supposed to lift me. Wait. It's hooked on me. It's hooked on me. You're not supposed to lift me yet. It's hooked on me. You're just supposed to lift the light. I don't believe this. I'm not supposed to be up here. Let me down. Let me down. Let me down. Yeah, we're just about back on schedule now. I got to tell you, I just love truck driving. I do too. <laughs> I love big trucks like this. I mean, this is about as big as you can get, right? It's just about as big as you Every can get. Every kid's dream. You ever seen that truck that moves the space shuttle? Mm. Now that's a truck. That's true. What you're looking at is the world's largest truck. It also may be the world's slowest truck with a top speed of only about 8 miles per hour. There's no steering wheel, just big control knobs. This big truck has a big job to do. It's designed to do just one thing, and that is to move the space shuttle to the launch pad. Finally, thanks to this big truck, the shuttle is ready for blast-off. Hmm. Hey, can I have some of those chips? Sure. Wait a minute. You ate all the chips. Well, We're I supposed to be a team. You're supposed to share your food know, with Dave, me. Dave, I'm getting really sleepy. Sleepy? I've been doing all the work. I've been driving all the way so, so far. I know, I got you some coffee to keep you awake. Okay, wake me up in about Sweet an hour. dreams, Becky. Whew. You want to hear something funny? <laughs> I remember back when Becky and I were working on garbage trucks. <laughs> How's that? That was funny. <laughs> This is a garbage dump or landfill, and as you can see, space here is limited, so it's always a good idea to recycle as much of your garbage as possible. Now, you probably don't think of garbage trucks as being very exciting, but they're really pretty neat. Come and look at this one. As you see on the front, there's a great big claw device that reaches out and grabs the big cans. It lifts them up over the top of the truck and then dumps them into this part here. Now, once it dumps it into the big part there, there's another big kind of screw device with a wall on the end of it that pushes the garbage way, way, way back into here. It squeezes it so they can hold a whole lot of garbage in this huge trash truck. And that's the way they work. Here's another kind of garbage truck. It's a street sweeper, kind of like a big vacuum cleaner. It sucks up the garbage from our city streets and hauls it away. This garbage truck is designed to pick up smaller garbage cans, the kind you might have at your house. Trucker Dave and Trucker Becky, here we've got a garbage truck, and your assignment today is to go out and pick up a truckload of trash. <gasps> Good, I get to drive. I want to drive. No, I want to drive. No problem. Two controls, dual steering wheels, both of you can drive. Perfect. Let's go. Two steering wheels, one on each side. Nah, they're not really there so two people can drive at the same time. The one on the right is there so the driver can see what he's picking up. I can't believe we have to do this in a rain. Well, somebody has to pick up the garbage just like the mail, come rain or come oh, shine. Yeah, 
Make sure you line up properly now. Whoops, I gotta bring this down. All right, pick it up. Whoa. Wait, hold on, put it. Wait, wait, move it out of the way for one sec. Pick it up, drop it. Wait. Oh no. Oh. oh. My gosh. Oh, oh no. Hold on. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I don't know what I was doing. I thought I had it on the right lever, and then I... Whoa! Oh, no! You didn't set no. the brake! Wait, wait! You didn't set the brake! Dave, come on! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh, can you stop this for us? Do you know how to stop it? Okay, wait a minute. I just figured out what we're carrying. What? Top secret parts for the military. Top secret parts for the military. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how, how did you figure that out? Well, there are no markings on the boxes except for a stamp that says important. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. And our boss said that if we didn't get them there on time, we could lose our jobs. Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? Oh, I sure did. Mm. Well, we're right on schedule. And we're running out of gas. Oh, there's a truck car. stop right up here. Okay, we'll stop good. There. And then I'll drive. I'm ready. You're finally ready to drive. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you do a little better job at that than you did at the garbage truck. <laughs> There are fuel tanks located on each side of the cab. One for Becky and one for me. Teamwork is important in truck driving. They hold a lot of fuel for those long cross-country trips. It's important to have clean windows, too. Well, you know, I think it's about time I took a nap. Okay. I can handle it. Now, you be sure you don't fall asleep. Oh, don't worry about me, Dave. I've got plenty of things to think about that'll keep me amused. <laughs> like the time that Dave and I tried to be tow truck drivers. Well, we've seen lots of big trucks so far, but the question I have is, what do you do if a big truck breaks down? Well, what you do is call a bigger truck to tow it. The towing industry is very important because if your vehicle breaks down, these are the guys that come to your rescue. But not just anybody can drive one of these trucks. It takes a trained professional. Hi, kids. My name's Jay. I'm a tow truck operator. This is my tow truck. It'll carry 45 tons. It's one of the biggest in the world. a lot of special care when hooking up a big truck. Everything has to be very secure to safely tow a big rig. Now the truck is ready to be towed to the shop for repair. Driver Becky, we have a call for you. It's a gray Datsun on Fifth Street. Can you go help them out? That's us. Jesus. Uh, that's a big 10 4. We'll be there in uh, five minutes. Just give us five minutes. All right. <laughs> Finally, call. Okay, I sure will. Hi! I'm tow truck driver Becky. You're doing fine. 
Solid. They'll take good care of your car, sir. Well, take good care of it. My dad gave me that for my graduation. Don't oh, worry about it. no problem. You can trust okay. us. Okay. I've done this a hundred times. Okay. Don't worry about it. job to the professionals. Dave! What? I believe you. I'm just adjusting the seat. It's an air seat. Well, That's the sound goodness. it makes. Listen, which way are we going? Straight ahead. We're going the right way this time for a change. Just follow this road. Right. Don't take any turns. Okay. All right. Now, have you thought any more about what I said about what we're carrying? Well, I thought maybe it might be, if it's a military thing, it might be lasers or something like lasers. that. Lasers! Woo! Maybe bombs? Bombs. Nah. nah. The military has all their own trucks. Have you ever seen any of those great trucks they have? They go in the water, they do all kinds of things. Yeah. Military trucks come in all shapes and sizes. They're built to drive in very special conditions, like when they need to travel through water and mud. These trucks are much like transformers. They turn into bridges. Well, you were driving. <sighs> Speaking of monsters, do you remember that big truck that time? That, what was it called? Oh, the monster, big the big dummy? dummy, yes. And we think this is high off the ground. Now that Woo. was a big truck. Woo. Well, we've shown you trucks of all different shapes and sizes. Trucks that do all kinds of different jobs. Well, now we're going to show you a truck that's really not good for anything. Except having lots of fun. Trucker Becky, where are you going? I was just going to offer you a ride. You're going to offer us a ride? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. The question is, how do we get up there? Just Here, climb on up. Get on the tire. There you go. Here you go. Here you go. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Uh, how am I going to get up? 
All right. You guys ready? We're ready. Hi kids, my name is Frank Scatini. This is my truck, Big Dummy 3 Monster Truck. It weighs 14,000 pounds. Cost me $200,000 to build. It's got 66 inch tall tires that weigh 1,000 pounds each and cost $2,500 each. I got 1,000 horsepower engine. The truck weighs as much as three other regular trucks. Geez, I don't know. You know, we're not supposed to open this till we're to our final destination. I know, but I'm really curious. And besides, I think I heard a box fall over and maybe something fell out. All right, but just a peek, all okay, right? Just a peek. Just a peek. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my See, goodness. Look. I told you this would happen. Look, they're videos. Hey, these are live action video for kids' tapes. <gasps> we got to get these to the stores we right do. away. But before we go, we want to say we hope you've enjoyed learning all about trucks. And if you'd like to learn more about trucks, visit your local library. And always remember to be extremely careful around trucks. It takes them a long time to stop, and there's a lot of blind spots. So make sure the driver knows you're there if you're anywhere near a truck. Well, we better get going. We got to deliver them on time. All Bye. right. See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.